So uh, this is how our timing diagram was at first, uh, very bare, and uh, we were able to achieve this. So first things first, uh, we need to draw a table which contains our A, our B, which, are, which is usually the input or the present state. And then we need our X equals 0, X equal 1 which is usually your next state so this like it tells you when like x is 0 1 when uh, it gives you the value when x toggles and uh, we have z which is our output remember a and b is our present state I'm going to use ps and this is our next state I'm going to use we have our a and b which like I said before is our present state we have our a plus b plus which is our next state which is this so we can call this a plus and b plus to signify the uh, next state and differentiate it from the present state we're gonna have two of those because sometimes your x can be either 0 or can be 1 and then we have our z which is just our output so remember this is our present state I'm gonna put ps for present state and I'm gonna put ns for next state so there are only four different combinations for A and B, which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Those are the only four combinations you can ever have. And the next thing we need to do is look at this diagram and plug in all the equations. So we have A0, so we have A0, X is 0, and we have B0, and B prime here is going to be 1. So 0 exclusive all with 1 is going to give you 1. 1, 0, or 0 is going to give you 0, 0. 1 exclusive over 0 is going to give you 1. So here we see that our next state for A, which is A plus, is going to give you 1 when x is equal to 0. And for B, which is B plus, is going to give you 0. Hmm, but that's funny. We see that Z is equal to 1. When A is 0 and B is 0 as the present state, this is saying Z is equal to 1. So let's see what's happening because I know for a certain fact that Z should be 0. Let's go back and look at the timing diagram. So this is the timing diagram and uh, remember A was 0 and B was 0. Here we see that when A is 0 and B is 0, we have Z equals 0. So what is happening? There's something wrong. And you know what's wrong? It's because the first way we did it was like using the Mealy machine because you remember I told you for the Mealy machine the output is a function of the present state and the input but this is a more machine the output is a function of the present state only so X is not needed in this problem and the X value has been preset as 0 1 1 0 1 so this is how this machine works. This is this is like the sequence in which it should follow. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. When A and B is 0, your Z is 0. Because we are not looking at the X value in this case. This is a more machine. So you see we had 1 in that case. That is the mistake I do not want you guys to make when you have an exam or something. In the more machine, you have to go back to your time diagram and see what's happening between A and B. So now that we've gotten that off the way, look as we saw in that time diagram, when A is 0 and B is 0, your Z is 0 instead of 1. So ignore that one. It is okay to use this method of put, plugging in the values to find your A plus and B plus and your for X equals 0 and X equals 1. Because as, as, show as I showed you in the timing diagram, Will you have this when x is equal to 0? Okay, so what happens when x is equal to 1 in this case? We do not have that value. So we cannot use the timing diagram to completely fill up the state graph table. So the only way we can do this is using the plug and chug method. I mean, that's what I call it. So in this case, let us figure out what the next state is if your x was equal to 1. So we have 1 here because your b is 0 and we have 0 here. Your x is 1, your x is 1 here, 0 or 1 is going to give you 1, and that's going to tra translate down here to B+, plus. 1 exclusive or 1 is going to give you 0, 1. So 
your a plus is 0 and your b plus is 1 when x equal 1 okay so let's see what's gonna happen when your b is 1 so b 1 b prime is 0 and a is 0 your x in this case is 0 0 so 0 exclusive all 0 will give you 0 0 all 0 is gonna give you 0 so here we're gonna have 0 0 because remember this is a d flip flop so whatever comes here translates down there to a plus okay and let's see what happens when your x is equal to 1 when x equal 1 1 or exclusive all 0 is going to give you 1 and 1 or 0 is going to give you 1 so here we have 1 1 let's see what's going to happen when your a is 1 and your b is 0 so of course your b prime is going to be 1 and your a is 1 and let's see what's going to happen when your x is 0 and your x is also 0 0 exclusive all 0 is 1 1 or 0 is going to give you 1 and we have 1 1 again let's see what's going to happen when your x is equal to 1 1 exclusive all 1 is going to give you 0 and 1 all 1 is going to give you 1 so we have 0 1 and finally let's see what's going to happen when your a is 1 and your b is 1 so of course your b prime is going to be 0 and your a is 1 and let's see what's going to happen when x is 0 and x is 0 0 exclusive all 0 is going to give you 0 1 exclusive all 0 is going to give you 1 and that's going to be 0 1 right here and uh, let's see what's going to happen when your x is 1 when your x is 1 we have 1 exclusive all 0 that's going to give you 1 and 1 all 1 is going to give you 1 and here is going to be 1 1 and let's see what your z values are going to be when your a is 0 and your b is 1 a 0 b 1 your z is 1 a 0 b 1 your z is 1 you see this okay let's go back and put 1 as our output for z Let's see what's going to happen when it's going to be 1 and 0. Let's see what happens when A is 1 and B is 0. When A is 1 and B is 0, your Z is 1. Okay, let's go back and chuck that in. And let's see what's going to happen when your A is 1 and your B is 1. When A is 1 and your B is 1, we have Z equals 0. Let's plug that in. We have Z equals 0. And I made a little mistake right here, and that is uh, the 1, 1 should be here, and then your 1, 0 should be here. So let me quickly fix that, and uh, I'll explain to you what should, why that's the case. And you see, uh, this is a transition I made. Like I said, my 1, 1 came on top, and my 1, 0 came at the bottom. And uh, why we do that is because uh, we just imagine we can toggle A and B once at a time. And I did that because it's like the norm. And uh, my understanding of this is that we only want to toggle A and B once at a time. So you see here we have A is equal 0 and B equals 0. Then here we have A equals 0 and B equal 1. And if you notice only one of the switches we toggled. So it was just the B switch we toggled. And if you come here you see that it's only one of the switches we toggled and it was the A switch and if you come here you see that it's only one of the switches we toggled and that is the B switch so the next thing we need to do is uh, make this thing as easy as possible and that is uh, we just rename it basically so 00, zero is going to be S0 zero, zero, 01 is going to be S1 and uh, 11 one is going to be S2 and 10 uh, is going to be S3 so let's fill in the table again, but just like making it a whole lot easier for us. So first of all, we see in the first row we have uh, A, B, we rename it to S0, and then here, 1, 0 is going to be S3, and 0, 1 is going to be S1, and of course it's going to still be 0, and then we have uh, in the second row, 0, 1 is S1, and 0, 0 as S0, 1, 1 and as S2, and then we have 1, and 1, 1 here is going to be S2, and for this we have S1, that's 0, 1, and for 1, 1 we have S2, and we have 0. For the fourth row we have S3, 1, 1 is, will be S2, 0, 1 will be S1, and the final 
z value is going to be one and this is what we're going to work with in order to make like the state diagram or the state graph so here's the fun part we're about to start drawing the state diagram but before we start drawing that i will need you to understand like the usual nomenclature of uh, drawing this more machine and that is we use the top of the circle for the state name i'm just going to put sn and the bottom for the output so i'm going to start with s0 which is this and of course the output for s0 is zero and we draw a circle and when x is equal to zero it goes to s3 i'm going to go here and put zero so you see when x equals zero we have s3 right so we're going to draw S3. And what's the output for S3? It's 1. 1. And when x equals 1, what happens? We have S1. Okay, and this is S1. And what is the output for S1? 0. It's 1, my bad. 1. So now we see that this is completed because it has two arrows coming out and that is the x value so this is a uh, x equal one and x equals zero so you see there's no like any other x value so next we go to s3 and then we go to s1 so s3 what happens when s3 equals zero it goes to s2 okay so we need to draw a new circle showing s2 and what is the output for s2 we have z equals zero so that's zero so this is what happens when s3 equals 0. So what happens when s3 equals 1? It goes to s1. So we just do this. We don't need to draw another circle because we already have s1. And that's what happens when s3 equals 1. So now we go to s1 or we can go to s2. It doesn't matter. I mean, you just need to like make sure that each circle comes has like two uh, arrows showing the x value. So this is for x equals 1. And so let's see what happens when s1 equal when x equals zero in s1. So it goes to s zero. So you can do like this, and that is zero. And let's see what happens when it is one. It goes to s2. So we can do this to show one. Okay, so s1 is already saturated, and then we go to s2, which is the final one because this is done. It has two arrows, which is this and that and this is also done because it has two arrows which is this one is equal to one and that one is equal to zero so the only thing remaining is s2 so let's go back to here and when x equals zero s2 goes to s1 and when x equals one s2 goes to s2 so you can just like make a loop back you see that you, you just make that loop to show when s equal one and that, my friends, is the state diagram or the state graph for the example we use. And let's see all the magic that happened at first. We had this machine and uh, we needed to make the timing diagram and we did that. This was like the initial state. We, had, we were given the X values. We were given A and we were given B. And we were told that uh, it, this, uh, it, this is a rising edge triggered machine. And we used the yellow lines to like show the triggers. So it would be easy for us to interpret it. And like this was what we saw at first and then we went over to do this and we were able to like get in the output so we had the, the new z output we had the a output and we had the b output which translate to this a's and this b's output and then after that we came here to make the state graph and that is everything you need to know about the more machine